Uh, today is all about trying to clear up and giving you a mathematical way of finding rotations that are not about the origin. And uh, once again, we have to remember the coordinate rules for counterclockwise rotations because we are going uh, to use those. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is the packet that you have has six problems in it. Uh, we're going to do number one and number two together, and then I'm adding on those last four problems onto the packet that I gave you last week. So I told you last week, I told you on Friday, that that packet was due tomorrow. It is due tomorrow. So I'm only, I'm adding on four problems. But we need to clear up this idea of rotating about points that are not at the origin. So can everybody quickly uh, go ahead and plot uh, the order pair for B and for A and for D? So when we started this process last week of attempting to rotate about points that are not at the origin. I, you know, some of you, you have the ability to visualize what that looks like and you don't have any problem with it. But many of you, you have a bit of a problem with that. So that's what today is all about. So let me go ahead and plot B and A and D and connect them together and that would look like this. Okay? And we're supposed to rotate that about the point 1, 1, which happens to be right there. So I told you last week that we can't use the, the counterclockwise rotation coordinate rules if it's not about the origin. Well, you can't the way that they're written, but what if we were to do this? What if we were to create what I'm going to call a fake x-axis and a fake y-axis that go through the point of rotation? So here's what I mean by that. Let's create a new fake, just for the moment, a fake y-axis and a fake x-axis. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that as my new coordinate system so that I can utilize those rules. But before I do that, I've got to change the ordered pairs for my pre-image. Since this is my new coordinate system, B is no longer at 2 comma negative 1. In my new coordinate system, where is B? 1 comma negative 2. So what we have to do, so that we can use that counterclockwise rotation about the origin rule, I have to use my fake coordinate system. So I'm going to come up with some pre-image fake coordinates. So I already asked you where B was in the fake coordinate system. It is at 1, comma, negative 2. Everybody okay that that's at 1, comma, negative 2? Well, in case you're not, this is now the origin, okay? This is now the origin right here. And so 1, oops, I'm on a line and I didn't mean to do that. Let me take that off of there. Here we go. All right, this is now the origin. One, two to the right. Oops, sorry about that. One to the right and two down. That's at one comma negative two in my fake coordinate system. Go ahead and find D and A in my fake coordinate system. And by the way, you should be writing these pre-image fake coordinates down. That's why I gave, gave you a lot of extra room um, off to the left there. <coughs> so what is D under my fake coordinate system? What is it? Zero comma what? Negative five, good. And A is four comma negative four. Everybody okay with my fake coordinates of the preimage? Now, why did I do fake coordinates for the pre-image? The reason is because now I can use my coordinate rule because that coordinate rule there is based upon util the utilization of the origin. And since 1, 1 is technically for right now my new origin, I now use my fake coordinates to come up with my image fake coordinates. <laughs> so everybody come up with your image fake coordinates.
The ordered pairs for my image fake coordinates, B is 2 comma 1, utilizing negative y comma x. A it, prime is uh, 4 comma 4, and if I didn't say B prime, I meant B prime is 2 comma 1. A prime is 4 comma 4. D prime is 5 comma 0. When I plot those with A prime, B prime, and D prime, and then connect them together, that is a <coughs> rotation of 90 degrees counterclockwise. And then if I temporarily take away my fake coordinates, just so you can see what's going on, you can see that that is a 90 degree rotation counterclockwise about that point right there. Okay? Any questions about the rotation of 90 degrees counterclockwise? Now, of course, you want to leave your fake coordinate system there until you do the 270 degree counterclockwise. So now I'd like you to do the same thing for 270 degree counterclockwise rotation about the same point. So we still need our pre-image fake coordinates. We just, for our new rotation, we're going to come up with some new image fake coordinates based upon the 270 degree counterclockwise rule. So I'll give you a minute or two to come up with that. So the second time around, we're doing a 270 degree counterclockwise rotation, still around 1 comma 1, which with our fake coordinate system is our new fake origin, if you want to think of it that way. We're using the same uh, pre-image, and so we're using the same fake pre-image coordinates that we used in the 90 degree rotation. From there, we're going to utilize this 270 degree counterclockwise rule, since we're now using 1 comma 1 as the origin. So my Image, fake coordinates, uh, B double prime, and I don't know why I didn't write B double prime there. That should be B double prime is negative 2 comma negative 1. A double prime is negative 4 comma negative 4. D double prime is negative 5 comma 0. Plot those, and then on my graph, I should have had double prime, double prime, double prime as well. I think I was just copying and pasting there, but that's what the 270 degree counterclockwise rotation. Now, when you are totally finished with everything that you need to do within one problem, you then should erase your fake coordinates. Because this is just a mathematical technique that allows us to find a rotation around about a, a, with a shape about a different point other than the origin. Okay? Any questions about number one in general? Okay, everybody try number two, both parts. You can work on that one with your shoulder partner using this new mathematical technique of using fake, a fake coordinate system and fake pre-image coordinates and fake image coordinates. Do both parts to number two. Okay, so number two, we were supposed to plot SQ... UA, and we want to rotate once around a 180 counterclockwise, and then another time 270 degrees counterclockwise around 0, 1. Now, just remember one thing, that if you're asked to do a clockwise rotation, think of it or turn it into a counterclockwise rotation. For example, a 90 degree clockwise rotation is a 270 degrees counterclockwise rotation. So if you're given a clockwise rotation, turn it into a counterclockwise rotation because the end result looks um, the same. So we're going about the point 0, 1. So when I plot my original figure, it should look like this. I need to create a fake coordinate system, which would be right there because now 0, 1 is my fake origin. And I'm going to, first of all, use the 180 degree counterclockwise rule using my pre-image fake coordinates. And from that, I want to use or create my image fake coordinates. And when you do that, uh, S prime is negative 1, comma, negative 3. And uh, Q prime is negative 3, comma, negative 1. And U prime, and I'm trying to squeeze this in here, is negative 6, comma, negative 4. And A prime is negative 4, comma, negative 6. And let me get back over here. Negative 1, 
negative 3 using my new coordinate system. Let's see here. That would be 1, 2, 3. So that would be right there for S prime. Uh, negative 3, negative 1. 1, 2, 3, negative 1 is right there for Q prime. And U prime is at negative 6, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That would be right there for U prime. And A prime is at negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I believe A prime is right there. And we connect those together. And that would be my sloppy way of doing uh, the 180-degree counterclockwise rotation. Now, I'm going to erase what I've written here as far as these go. And do my double prime ones. Let me switch pen colors here. And... S double prime. We use the rule uh, y comma negative x using my pre-image fake coordinates. So I have three comma negative one. Q prime or double prime, excuse me, is one comma negative three. And please correct me if I've written anything incorrectly here. U double prime is four comma negative six. A double prime is 6, comma, negative 4. Now, I'm going to come over here and plot all of those. 3, comma, uh, 3, comma, negative 1. So 3 over. So that should be uh, S double prime. And uh, Q double prime is 1, comma, negative 3. 1, 2, 3. And U double prime is 4, comma, negative 6, which would be about right there. And A double prime at 6, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And there's A double prime, and I believe that is the 270-degree counterclockwise rotation, which if you visualize it as a 90-degree clockwise, it would look exactly the same. And then when you're finished with that, you, of course, should erase your fake coordinate system. All right, any questions about this mathematical way of doing rotations about points that are not the origin? All right, your homework for tonight is to finish the other four problems in here. Each of them, you only have to do one rotation per coordinate plane. And then to finish up the packet that I gave you last week, okay?